Hello and welcome back everybody. This is Sierra's crafting table. Today I am going to be doing a speed cleaning, going over meal planning, and doing grocery shop. And I will be discussing my plans for a new sewing project. I do apologize that I have been gone from YouTube for so long, but there is a reason for that. Something happened and me and my husband, or my husband and I, became foster parents and there was a lot going on and I had to step away from trying to start my business and all my filming and editing and everything. But we feel that we're at a place where I can finally start back again up on YouTube. I'm going to put my business on hold, but I will continue to work on my YouTube channel. I have been wanting to come back for a very long time. There was so much that we had to do and so much that we had to figure out that it just wasn't possible for me to keep trying to get all of this done on the side but now we have a lot of the big things out of the way that we needed to do and now I'm just happy to be back so let's just get into this video and thank you guys for being here and being patient with me I appreciate you I do have a lot of plans for this channel. I've been thinking about it the whole time I've been gone. And I think I'm going to do a mix of just things that I'm interested in, like cleaning and organizing, home improvement, gardening, landscaping, um, everything kind of like that, just lifestyle stuff that I like. And also keep the crafty stuff here. I just like a little bit of everything and I hope you guys will stay and enjoy that too with me. Who else is ready for the longer days? I just get so down in the winter, the gloomy days, they just are not good for me. I love the sunlight, I'm ready to walk the aisles of the greenhouses. I'm ready to get some plants and get some plants in my ground. I'm already starting to get my soil ready and that's going to be in another video. I already started filming for that one, but is anybody else crazy like me? Like I like to get started early. Now I do not always do this to my sink. I will always scrub it with a scrubber and some soap but I don't always shine my sink this is literally every once in a while I do shine my fridge frequently because the smudges get so bad and you can see everything even though the fridge was supposed to be smudge free and resistant it is not so I just hate seeing it and feeling all the crud on it so I do clean my fridge like this often You will probably see my dogs a lot in the background. I don't really feel the need to edit them out. It's real life. I, on the other hand, do not put my foster kids on camera, nor is it allowed. So you won't see them and that's why, but the dogs will always probably be in the background. It's their right for their privacy to be protected.
So right here I am putting some of the dish soap on the bottom of this waffle maker. Um, I guess it would be called the legs, but there was some caked on pancake mix at the bottom and I just had to scrub it off. But the instructions said to not put soap or anything except oil, like cooking oil. So I put oil in the heating parts like the the metal parts where it heats up and that's how I wiped that out I just wanted to leave this in here because I thought it was so cute how Hopper walked up to the camera like that he is just my adorable little golden boy
first thing that I do is I will think about what I have already on hand or I'll go through the fridge or pantry. I never remember everything. So if you don't remember everything, just go through your pantry, fridge, and then anything that's going bad, I try to use that up. So if I have any meats or anything on hand, I'll have any meats on hand, I will prepare or plan my meal around what I have. So if I have chicken, I will make a chicken dish. Or if I have beef, I will make a beef dish. A lot of rice on hand, I'll make rice as a side. Everything like that. And then I will also get a lot of my inspiration from Pinterest. Yes, I am a diehard Pinterest fan. Just got a notification on my watch. And sorry, my dogs <laughs> are very noisy when they play and my son is playing his video game right now. Anyways, so I will think about what I have on hand. I will also look at weekly ads, anything on sale. What do they call that on the front of the page? Um, I usually use a handful of things to meal plan. Also, I meal plan based on what we are craving or if we're tired of eating the same thing, I'll change it up. Just try to change it up because nobody likes eating the same thing all the time. I cook a lot from scratch. I also like my really quick meals that I can microwave or that's already prepared. Um, but I like doing both. I like doing fast or cooking from scratch. I'll also just consider what ingredients I have, like pasta, sides, what's in my freezer, all of the seasonings I have. And personally, I like food cooked from scratch because it tastes a lot better to me. But if I am shorthanded or in a pinch, I will just pop something in the microwave like pizza rolls or something or chicken nuggets. But let's get to meal planning. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this off camera. It will probably take me a little bit and it will just be boring. I, a lot of thinking and preparing goes into this. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do this real quick. Not real quick, but I'm gonna do this right now. I love getting my meal planner printouts from Tiffany Beeston's website. If you just go to her YouTube channel, you can find her link there on her channel. Here's a list of it here. So you can see a quick view, but here's what the meal plan looks like. The shopping list is right there. Your meals are right there. It just, it's so much easier for me. I used to use two different papers and that was getting too hard to keep track of. So when I went to print that, I noticed I was low on ink. So I added that to my notes on my phone and I was just gonna add that to my list later. I do that so I don't forget anything on my list, even though I always forget something. And here is the Aldi finds. I always find myself here. Later on, you'll see that I got a couple puzzles, children puzzles, but I didn't get any of this stuff here, but I just wanted to show the good finds. Now I'm just heading over to Kroger to get some items. Unfortunately, Aldi does not carry some things that I buy, but that's okay. Aldi is amazing. I will still go to Aldi. Here's my printer ink. And here is my little haul that I got. I have a bunch of stuff in my freezer, fridge, and pantry that I gotta use up, so this is not a huge Haul. This is just going to go with some stuff that I already have. And there's the two puzzles. You'll see them again here in a second.
Okay guys, I know you've been waiting all this time for the reveal. What do you think it is? Get prepared, get ready. I am going to try and make a little baby quilt. No, I am not pregnant. I don't have a baby. I don't know if I'm getting one. I just, it's an interest of mine and I like sewing and I've always wanted to make a quilt so I thought I would start small. I don't know if all of this stuff is necessary. If you are an avid quilter, please let me know what you use to make a quilt. I don't like buying all the extra stuff if I don't have to, but I wanted to be prepared since this was my first official quilt. Okay, I saw this and I just had to get it for myself. So that is not going to go on the quilt, but I really liked that fabric and I am going to try and find something to use it for. But here is some of the, or all of the patterns I got. I was trying to make it gender neutral just because I don't know if I'm going to give this away or if I'm going to use it for a kid that comes into my home and I don't know what the ginger will be for the baby that uses this so if that happens so I try to make it gender neutral I tried my best finding cute patterns that were kind of in the middle and I really spent a lot of time looking at all of these and I liked these colors and patterns I thought they were really Cute, and they reminded me of baby blankets and I liked the blues Again, thank you guys so much for being here and watching this video, especially if you made it all the way through this. I hope it was entertaining. Please let me know down below what you thought of this video, if you would like to see more of these or any kind of requests. Really, I would like to hear your requests on what you would like to see. And alright, until next time.